Here we go again, and Bruff, just for, as we get a first glimpse of the King and Queen who are here again, sum up your emotions yesterday watching the action. It was absolutely brilliant. It was brilliant because it, it was everything you could hope flat racing to be, and it was with a lovely, brave horse, the brilliant, eloquent jockey you just heard, and the obvious enjoyment of the King and Queen. It was a terrific day. And here they come again in this beautiful sunshine, the first carriage, Charlotte Hawkins. And in the first carriage we have the King, the Queen, the Duke of Devonshire and the Duchess of Devonshire. And you can see Queen Camilla there, she's wearing white with black trim dress by Anna Valentine, one of her go-to designers. She's worn her on other occasions this week and she has a black and white hat there by Philip Tracy, her favourite hat designer. So another, we'll go for understated elegant but striking at the same time, isn't it? She has deliberately made a statement by, I think, her choice of outfits this week, the muted colours. And the Duke knows this place and racing inside out. So that will be a conversation about racing, I imagine. No doubt. He's well known in the horse racing world. He was Her Majesty's representative at Ascot for several years, was chairman of Ascot Racecourse, was senior steward of the Jockey Club. He oversaw the creation of the British Horse Racing Board and was appointed CBE for his services to racing and awarded Knights Commander of the Royal Victorian Order for those services as Her Majesty's representative here at Ascot. And we know the colours well, don't we, Brum? Straw-coloured, very elegant colours. Uh, carried to victory by Compton Place in the July Cup. And, and early by his father, Park Top, one of you know, absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant city. But he, he was a real, he was a real crowd bowl breaker as a senior citizen Johnny Cup. He oversaw the change to the BHA. And he's a, we always call him Soaker, but he's a very bright guy. He runs Chatsworth, of course, family house. Runs it very, very well. Now, there were extra photographers at the race course this morning, Charlotte. I was thinking, hmm, I wonder why. We Here's wonder the answer. Why. This is the answer in carriage number two. The Prince of Wales. And listen to that. <laughs> the Princess of Wales. There's already a huge cheer as they've just been spotted on the big screen here. That's some reaction, isn't it? And what it just a striking creates dress. that. It did it last year. It just creates that extra buzz. And now it is crackling here in the paddock. Everyone has definitely stepped up again, haven't they, at that site. So the Prince of Wales, the Princess of Wales, Princess Beatrice, Mrs. Eduardo Mapelli mozzi and her husband, Mr. Eduardo Mapelli mozzi And uh, we know Prince William celebrated his 41st birthday this week on Wednesday. So we did wonder, didn't we, when they would be making an appearance here. It's good to see them here joining in today. And, oh, it's brilliant uh, to see them here, honestly. It really is. This is huge again for Ascot and the sport of horse racing to have them here. I think so it just gives everyone that lift we've heard it here and you know for everybody to see them they were the ones that people were saying when are William and Kate going to be here and now we've got the answer they're here today and I absolutely love the red the strong <laughs> red of the dress with a matching hat she looks absolutely stunning and always the most amazing hairstyles all gathered up so beautifully under her hat. So and I can imagine there'll be a lot of pins involved, especially when you're in the carriage. You don't want to be holding on to your it's hat. It's windy out there today, isn't it? And it's interesting, she's gone for such a striking look. She had the, the emerald green that we saw her wearing at the Trooping the Colour. Again, that block colour that looks so striking. So uh, everyone will definitely be able to see her as she's making her way past in the carriage. And just wait for when carriage two comes into the paddock and then we'll all keep quiet and you'll just hear the noise. That was the cheer for just a glimpse of them on the big screen. To carriage three. On to carriage three we have the Duchess of Edinburgh, the Earl of Culloden, Prince Michael of Kent and Princess Michael of Kent. And the Duchess of Edinburgh we've seen here in the carriage procession earlier this week and we've also seen her side by side with the King and Queen in the Royal Box enjoying the racing action. The Earl of Culloden is Lord Lieutenant of County Armagh in Northern Ireland, the representative of the monarch there. And uh, he was one of the peers carrying the royal standard at the coronation. Prince Michael of Kent, the first cousin of the former, the late Queen Elizabeth, related to the royal family through both his father and mother. So, is a second cousin and a first cousin once removed to King Charles. So there's quite a family connection there you on both sides. Explain. My goodness. Now, as we go to carriage four, sorry, Charlotte, for up, we talked last year about creating a buzz for the, for the royal procession. It's done it this year because we asked for people like, potentially, Dame Judy 
Dench. And there she is. And I think this is such a good thing Asuka are doing here, involving ladies like Judy, who loves the sport as well as being a huge name. And she's been really involved in the sport. I remember her telling me she used to gallop her pony up the nose bar when she was when she was in New York. And then her, her sister married one of the Cunningtons, Shanti. She used to go over to Shanti a lot. So she's been, I don't think as an owner, she won the she won the Kempshire, the Lincoln, the also Smoky Oakey. So she, she understands it and she adorns the carriages. And for me, a modern day royal procession, this is brilliant, involving people like Dame Judy and there's others that you can get involved, Dame Helen Mirren, for example. Why don't we get Barack Obama and Michelle Obama to come in the royal procession? She put a wish list together. I mean, she is so good, I think. a national treasure, isn't she? She Absolutely. is acting royalty. And to see her here, I think, you know, is just marking it on as moving, as we were talking about, on to the next chapter. She is that huge horse racing fan herself, an industry supporter and uh, she's there also in the carriage with Mr. David Mills, Mr. William Farish, Mrs. William Farish as well and interestingly she calls Mr. David Mills her chap, not her partner, so that's how we shall refer to him. Uh, and they first met, if you're interested, back in 2010. He invited Dame Judy to open his squirrel enclosure. He's into wildlife conservation. He has the UK's biggest red, red squirrel breeder. I mean, you never know when you... That's when you that's some information, that's how they met. Tell me you're a font of invaluable <laughs> and slightly useless information. <laughs> I, uh, I do my best. You never know. It's a good meeting story. How did you two meet? Well, I was invited to open this morning. <laughs> 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 and it's not a standard one. Don't refuse these invitations. You never know when they might lead to. Charlotte, you succeeded over there at the Windsor Enclosure. Well done with the Club 20...
everybody smiling. Looked a little apprehensive on Tuesday. The cheers came on Wednesday, and now on Friday, he looks like he's really enjoying it as he comes past our position here. to see today so everything is in place for what promises to be another spectacular day at a sun-soaked royal race course and the action begins when we come back 